In today's video, we're gonna show you how you can web scrape Zillow without any code and in just one click. If you're considering buying a house, maybe you want to keep track of all the houses that you've seen on Zillow that you really like. You can keep track of how many bedrooms, bathrooms they have, how much square footage. You can even grab the phone number of the realtor and you can actually really easily have all of this information in one place like a spreadsheet and find your dream house a lot easier. So for this video, we're actually going to be using a free Chrome extension called Magical to web scrape all of this information for you without any code. Magical is a productivity app that's for the non-technical. So there's no code integrations or APIs and you can get set up in just two seconds. So if you don't already have the Magical app installed, then just head to the link in the description and get it there. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up all the houses that you want to scrape as new tabs. So we can look at this one. We'll just right click and open these links up in a new tab. And let's do this one. So first, let's go over how you can web scrape just one house on its own. So here we're on the house listing page and I already have Magical installed and I've pinned it to my browser bar so that it's easy for me to access. But all I'm gonna do is click on Magical. And here in the panel, we can see that Magical has actually gone ahead and labeled a ton of the information on this web page as pieces of data. So for example, we have the address here, we have the price, we have the name of the real estate agent, we have the closest elementary school, we have how many minutes ago it was listed. And there's a few things that Magical has actually gone ahead and registered as a piece of data, but it hasn't given it a label. So what we're going to do, we can see that there's 13 bads here. So this number 13, we can do rename and we'll rename this as number of bathrooms. And then we just hit save. So now we can see that we've labeled 13 as the number of bathrooms and there's a ton of other information on this web page that we can also save and scrape into our sheet. So how we do that is we open up the magical panel, we click on transfers and then we scroll all the way to the bottom and click on add more. And now when we have the blue lines outlining the page, we are now in editing mode. So what we can do right now is we can mouse over any piece of information on this web page and we can label it and give it a name for the information. So for example, it's gone ahead and highlighted the rent estimate, but it doesn't know the exact label names. So now we can give it one as rent estimate. And let's say when buying a house, the appliances matter a lot to us. So what we wanna do now is while in editing mode, we can hover over the appliances that this house features. And with just clicking on it, we can give it a label, appliances. And then we can create that as a label and hit save. Now I'm gonna hit done, refresh the page. And now when I look at the magical panel, we can see it's updated the rent estimate as well as the appliances. So now in order to transfer this information onto a spreadsheet, all we have to do is click on the big blue transfer button. We'll transfer this to a new spreadsheet. And since we wanna just do this tab, we'll hit just this tab. So now Magical opens up a brand new spreadsheet and it just populates all of this information here for us. So we can see that it included things like the URL of the listing itself, which is super important if we want to go back and open up that page again. We have things like the address, which is on Sunset Boulevard. We have all the appliances that we've labeled and created ourselves. So Magical brought in all this information about what appliances that this listing has. We have the name of the realtor. We have the number of bathrooms, number of bedrooms, as well as the price, $30 million. And we have the rent estimate of $100,000 per month, which we also added a label for. And the last piece of information that I grabbed from this listing was the year that the house was built. These are just the pieces of information that I wanted to data scrape. If you wanted to scrape other parts of this web page, you can of course go into editing mode and create labels for the other pieces of info. So now that we've shown you how to web scrape just one page, now let's do it for all the ones that we have open. So you can see we have all these really nice houses open and wow that one's really nice we want to put them all into a spreadsheet so we can start maybe reaching out to the realtor or just i don't know what you want to do with the spreadsheet of like 30 million dollar homes but let's go ahead and click on the magical icon once again 
We can see that Magical has labeled all of this information for us already. There's so much information on this page and it would just take a ton of time to copy and paste this manually into a spreadsheet. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just hit transfer to. And now when we get to the transfer to page, we're gonna go ahead and click on new spreadsheet so we can have all of the information from all these tabs into another spreadsheet. And Magical automatically populates all of these cells for us, all with the information that we wanted, all the information that we labeled on the page itself. So now we have all this information in a really organized way. We have the URL, the price per square footage, the address, the price, the realtor's name, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, and the year it was built. We even have things like how much the HOA would cost. And so from there, you can do whatever you want with your spreadsheet. Maybe you wanna reach out to the realtors or you have something else in mind, but whatever it is, Magical will make this step super simple for you so you can web scrape without having to do any code and you can just do all of this in a few clicks. If you've ever wanted to just keep track of your house hunt or your realtors in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, then Magical is definitely going to be the way to go for this. As always, on this YouTube channel, we always share productivity hacks, tips and tricks that always require no code. So be sure to subscribe and drop a comment down below on what videos you guys want to see next. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.